We gotta go big or go home. Well, we had a prayer line. We had a guest preacher in one time on New Year's Eve. And there's about 800 people in the seats. He said, we're going to have a prayer line. If you're single and you're believing for your bait, come on up here. I'll pray for you. My God, they came out of the woodwork. They dropping babies off the nursery and getting ready to line. I saw three guys that were married up in that line. I said, you can't believe in a new one. You got one. And it looked like the date game because all, he said, put all the ladies over here and they're over there praying. All the fellows over there lusting. I mean, look. They checking everybody out. He said, before we pray, I'm going to start with the fellas. He said, uh, how many of y'all have a job? Raise your hand. They raised their hand. He goes, y'all didn't raise your hand. Y'all go back and get a seat. Because y'all can't afford no one. <laughs> We're going to pray for y'all employment first. And I'm up there and I'm tripping. I'm checking it all out. I'm having a time. I'm watching this line. Them fellas up there looking. They got their hand raised. They look and see what's going on. And then that guy, he's going and he's praying for people. And he gets to this old fella. He wasn't the most handsome fella in the church. He was a rough looking old boy. He got up to him. He said, so you got a job? Yes, sir. Are you believing to have a pretty wife? Oh, yeah, Pastor. Amen. He says, you better go get another job. <laughs> it's going to take you two or three jobs to be able to afford a pretty wife. And I thought, man, this is my kind of place right here. That's where I learned my comedy. 